Well, right now, the Nevada Open Meeting Law, as you know, probably requires any public, uh, any city, county, state committee and or commission to let the public know they're having a meeting and to let them know what's on the agenda. Before the Nevada Open Meeting Law was passed, they didn't have to do any of that. They could uh, decide to rezone a piece of property next to your house, put a filling station there. You might, you wouldn't even know about it until they start building the station. Unless somebody in the city happened to say, hey, did you know? So the Open Meeting Law required that they do that. Uh, there was, in those days, journalists, even though they were competing with each other, realized they had common goals, and one of those was the, a passage of a Nevada open meeting law. I was president of, the, of, the, um, of SDX, which is a journalistic organization at the time, and we got together, all the journalists in town, in effect, got together in Las Vegas and in northern Nevada, and started making a major push with our legislators, which may have been ethical or unethical, but we did it, to get a Nevada open meeting law in the books. And they did pass the Nevada open meeting law. Um, the very last day of the session, in the middle of the night, they finally agreed to vote on it. And they did vote on it, they passed it, and Governor O'Kellen had signed it. Previously, and then, and then they, the, some of these public officials were trying every way in the world to get around the, this awful law that was now in the books. I remember one time, I, think, I don't know if it was city or county or who, they, they chartered a yacht, they went to Lake Mead, and they went on the Arizona side and had a meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, that, that eventually all passed and everybody got used to it. And, and I, I think it's probably being, it, I'm sure that the government agencies are doing what they need to do under the law now, but the public isn't paying too much attention anymore.